Intangible Asset Basics Problem 1. Kiwi Corporation paid $202,000 to acquire Strawberry Company, a Yupik fresh fruit farm. At the time of the acquisition, Strawberry's balance sheet reported total assets of $202,000 and total liabilities of $101,000. The fair market value of the assets was $202,000. The fair market value of the liabilities was $101,000. How much goodwill did Kiwi purchase as part of the acquisition of Strawberry? Intangible assets, specifically goodwill. This can be challenging. This can be challenging. We're going to work through it. So how much goodwill did Kiwi purchase as part of the acquisition of Strawberry? Now we're given a lot of information. We're given the amount paid. We're also told the, um, the total assets of the company. We're told the total liabilities of $101,000. We're told the market value of the assets. And we're told the market value of the liabilities. Now I'm going to keep this pretty simple. There's a formula you can use. Basically all four of these numbers are going to be really vital. Goodwill, you can think of goodwill if you're dealing with a, a purchase. Purchase or sale of a business. Goodwill is kind of the intangible that cannot be quantified. So it's think of it as the intangible that cannot be quantified. Now there are intangible assets that can be quantified in terms of amounts like patents, copyrights, um, Good, um, if I say goodwill, not goodwill, um, uh, trademarks, trade names, franchise amounts, uh, trade secrets, so many different things, formulas, different things out there, um, and, and intangible. So, cannot be quantified. It's whatever else, it's the intangible that cannot be, it's like whatever else is out there, you know, beyond the other intangibles, beyond the, beyond the other tangible assets. It's the one asset that cannot be quantified. So when you're paying a premium for a business beyond what the value of those assets are, those items, that's that's the goodwill. That's the goodwill of the business. Could also be negative goodwill. Could be, you know, that the business has a, you get a discount because there's a, a negative goodwill associated with business. Maybe a business recently had some bad PR and that's got negative stigma. A lot of turnaround management companies, they acquire a business for less than the market value and they, because of negative goodwill, what's happening in the, in the press. Okay, let's go through the formula. All four numbers are going to be important. We start with the purchase price. That's always the most important because you're talking about what's being paid for the business. If we're trying to determine goodwill, again, it's what's non-quantifiable in terms of the purchase price, what you're paying for that can't be determined that's an asset or you know any type of asset out there and considering liabilities as well, so the purchase price. From that, what we're going to subtract away is the fair market value of the net assets of the business. The net assets of the business. Now, the way we calculate that is we take the fair market value of the assets given in the question minus the fair market value of the liabilities of the liabilities. Now, the $202,000 purchase price that was told to us Kiwi Corporation paid $202,000 to acquire strawberry. So boom, we got that information. We're told that the balance sheet reported total assets of $202,000, total liabilities of $101,000. So those two pieces of information are very important, but they don't actually go on here because we focus on the fair market value. The fair market value of the assets is also $202,000. So we can put that down. $202,000 minus the fair market value of the liabilities. That is $101,000. We subtract away the two numbers and we get the fair market value of the net assets which is $101,000. We now can use this amount, this $101,000, and subtract it away from the purchase price, from the 202, because the fair market value of the net assets, these have been adjusted for liabilities. So this is saying, assuming there were no liabilities, this is what the fair market value of the assets would be. Obviously there are, but you're taking into account the liabilities. So this $101,000 difference is what cannot be accounted for, cannot be quantified. So this $101,000 is the amount that will go to Goodwill when Kiwi purchases the business. It will go as an asset on the balance sheet of Kiwi Corporation when, they, when Kiwi acquires Strawberry Corporation. So that's really everything. Again, Goodwill can be challenging, and this will help you understand better. But remember, it's what you really can't quantify in terms of when you're purchasing a business. It's that that amount that's left over.